All right, guys. Uh, you'll notice there's no intro on this one. Uh, this is a this one. This video is going to be a little different uh, because I'm not actually going to do a review or a recommendation or anything on this. Um, if you remember, uh, if you if you saw me at the panel at TFCon a couple of years ago, um, I've mentioned it in a few places um, about how I was working for a toy company. Um, that toy company's name is Toy Notch, and uh, one you won't believe all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes to make all this stuff happen. But now it's time, uh, the first wave of our first line of figures is coming out. And so I've got those here today. And they are the 118th scale, which I, uh, is roughly G.I. Joe scale, uh, figures from, they're fully licensed figures from Capcom's Lost Planet series. Uh, so you've got the Vagabundo, x Nevik, and the Evax uh, vehicle mech, which we'll, we'll look at. Like I said, I'm not going to do a full review on these. Uh, this is just kind of, I'm proud of this. I want to show it off. Um, there is a full review up over at Fighting 118th. Uh, they got some samples as well, and you can check out their thoughts. Uh, I'll put the link. I may, I may put a link in an annotation here somewhere in the video, maybe up here where it's blank. Um, but I'll also put the link down in the video description. So if you want to check out a full review <coughs> of these figures from actual fans and things, like I said, I like them, but because, like I, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I work for them. Uh, I, I get enough accusations of shilling for all these toy companies. This is just to show them off, just because I am proud of them. Uh, so yeah, they, they come in little sliding boxes that just kind of hide the head. I don't know why we didn't put a window up there. Uh, a little bio, uh, the weapon comes with a plasma gun weapon, and a little bio on the back of the box itself uh, with a nice little sleeve. Um, it's got, here's the Evax in both its forms, the figures, and then the hardballer mech will be coming later on. And all the officially Capcom branded stuff and then the Lost Planet art on the side. <clears throat> and they just come in a little plastic tray. There is the ex Nevik with his plasma gun. And they're very easy to pop out of the tray itself. They've got a little bit of friction holding them in. I'll pop them out there. Go ahead and get them all out here. So there's the ex Nevik soldier. Now I'll go ahead and bring this down a little bit now. Let me focus here. Lock that in. There we go. Let me brighten it up a little bit. Um, and it's the same thing over here on Vagabundo. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and put him off to the side. Oh, stand up. There we go. And he's in the same type of packaging. Bio on the back. He comes with the rocket launcher. And again, same plastic tray. So we'll go ahead and pop him out. Stand him up. And then my personal favorite here, the Evax. Uh, it comes in a bigger box. I'll move these guys off to the side here real quick. 118 series toy notch. Lost Planet Capcom logo. <clears throat> and it slides out uh, just like this. Ah, come on. It's also in a sleeve here. If I can get it out. There we go, it's stuck. Yeah, you just take the sleeve off, and there is the vehicle itself. We'll open up the box. It too comes in just the clear plastic bubble inside. With the, uh, the weapon and the vehicle itself here. Slip out of here. Oh yeah, he's tied in. I forgot. There are twist ties holding the vehicle in, so you want to open those up. You do extend a little tread here on the back, uh, just like that. So yeah, it's a little vehicle like that. These guys can pilot it and ride it. And he does have this uh, vital suit shotgun, uh, which can uh, attach to either side of a mech. This one only has a port on the one side, but on the bigger mechs like the hardballer, you'll be able to attach one on either side of the vehicle. <clears throat> And you can see it's got some extra handle pieces here on the inside, uh, which again, you can plug those handles in up here. Um, 
But yeah, it's a little vehicle mech. Uh, the, the, now the figures themselves, you can see they've got the posability, uh, wrist joints. Uh, I think they're just swivel wrist joints. Um, they can hold their weapons, ball joints here at the neck. Uh, the backpacks are removable. And you can throw them off the edge like that. Hold on, let me go get that. All right, so yeah, the backpacks come off. Uh, they got waist swivels uh, here as well as a, a mid. It's not quite an ab crunch, but they do have a swivel there in the mid torso. Um, ball joints, knees, uh, the cables do kind of limit his articulation on the foot or the knee joint, uh, and then they've got ankle tilts. So they're, they're standard Joe-sized figures. Uh, they'll fit in with those armies. They can hold their weapons. Just throw that into his hand. Uh, you can adjust it. So he's got his, he's got his plasma gun. And there's Vagabundo as well. He's got all these pouches and things, of course. Removable backpack. You can remove... Uh, oh, maybe not. I thought, I thought this piece came off, but maybe not. But, uh... Yeah, he's got the little tattoo. See the waist crunch, torso swivel. All the joints. Knees, feet. Now, like I said, they can ride... The evax that helps you take the backpack off it's a little better you can bring him up put him down in here and he's actually having some trouble because of this there we go pop that off and then he can sit down in here and then uh sit up Have him reach the controls here. Had him. I guess I had him sitting in there. But yeah, they they they, they can pilot this. He can grab on. Um, but what's really cool is this whole thing transforms. You open this up. Uh, this piece comes up like that. Uh, it's got the foot pedals here. This piece uh, squeeze this in. Slide it back. Fold it up under there. This comes up, and these come unpeg and come down. Like that, bring it forward, fold that knee up, like that, fold the foot down. You can see it's got toe articulation and all that. It becomes kind of a riding walker mech with a big old shotgun on the side on a ball joint. Again, you can have the characters sit up here, grab one of the handles. And pilot the uh, the evax mech. So yeah, like I said, uh, there'll be a full review, or there should already be a full review over at Fighting 118th uh, by the time you see this. And uh, you can check that out by clicking the link again. Uh, I know, and you'll get a much more in-depth uh, review of these figures. Like I said, I wanted to show them off just because I've been helping. You know, I've been working with this company, and I've been wanting to uh, the final products here. I'm very proud of it and being part of it. And uh, it's nice to have so, to be working on some officially licensed Capcom figures. I know there's there's more there's more waves coming out. There's more of the the uh, 118 scale figures. There's again we got the Hardballer Mech uh, coming out, which will be you know much larger, and these guys can sit inside of it. Um, just look up Hardballer Mech. You can even look up, I think if you even look up Toy Notch Hardballer Mech, you'll see some of the, the shots we've had of it at conventions, and it's pretty cool. But there's Wave 1. Uh, it should be hitting stores any day now. Uh, I think the shipment uh, was held up at a port in L.A., but uh, should be released sometime this week, and you'll start seeing those hit retailers. I think Entertainment Earth has some. Bluefin, I think, is uh, our distributor here in the States. Uh but yeah, uh, check them out because I'm, I'm very proud of being part of this and uh, they're cool little figures. I hope you like them.